Let's talk is about Spanner and how it can be used beyond just relational use cases. My name is Dave Weissman. I'm a principal engineer at Google working on Spanner. I'm joined today by my colleague Pritam Shah, who is a director of engineering at Google, also working on Spanner. Today, we're going to be talking about Spanner, an in-house developed database that is widely used both within Google and across our cloud customers. Let's start by discussing why we built Spanner and what problems it is uniquely positioned to solve. Spanner was born out of the gaps of technology in the database market. Traditional relational databases offer easy to use and powerful primitives with transactions, SQL, and relational schemas. They, however, have their limitations. Traditional RDBMSs can be heavyweight to maintain, and maintenance often comes with downtime, for example, on version or schema upgrades. Traditional RDBMSs are also limited by single box scalability and require complex application-driven sharding schemes. NoSQL databases address some of these limitations, generally by removing much of the functionality and power of RDBMSs. For example, NoSQL databases lack transactional consistency. NoSQL databases come with no or very limited SQL support. And NoSQL databases lack rich ecosystem types, functions, and schema-enabled modeling functionality. Spanner is a database that provides the best of all these worlds. NoSQL scale, flexibility, and performance with the power and functionality of a traditional RDBMS. Spanner offers the highest availability with zero touch, zero downtime maintenance as a fully managed service. In addition, Spanner is highly scalable and supports real-time online resizing, making it an ideal choice for small workloads, large workloads, or workloads that fluctuate in their resource requirement over time. Finally, using technology like TrueTime, Spanner is able to offer globally consistent access to your data, no matter where you choose to access it from. Because of its differentiated architecture and how we built Spanner, Spanner today processes over 4 billion requests per second at peak and has more than 15 exabytes of data under management with read-write latencies below 5 milliseconds. These volumes are supporting some of Google's biggest billion-plus user services, including ads, YouTube, Gmail, and Photos, in addition to some of the largest companies worldwide across a wide range of industries. So what are some typical Spanner use cases? Here we've listed a few. Financial services rely on Spanner to provide a single, consistent, global, consolidated view of their operations. Retail services rely on Spanner to provide a consistent, always available source of truth for inventory management. Healthcare services rely on Spanner to provide always available and secure up-to-date user information. And gaming services rely on Spanner to provide low latency and scalable in-game interactions for user profiles, entitlements, and shared game state. These use cases and more rely on Spanner's world-class availability, scalability, and consistency. Now that we've discussed what Spanner is used for, let's spend a little time discussing how Spanner achieves these properties. Here we see a typical Spanner deployment. This diagram shows a regional instance configuration, which contains services in three zones. Each zone represents a replica of a Spanner deployment. Under the hood, Paxos is used in order to maintain consensus among the zones and ensure Spanner is resilient to zonal outages. A similar architecture exists for multi-region Spanner configurations with the added benefit of resilience to entire region outages. Application services speak to Spanner by accessing a public endpoint, which is intercepted and routed by Google frontends. Google frontends forward the request to an appropriate Spanner frontend, which is responsible for things like authentication and cloud audit logging. Spanner frontends then interact with the core Spanner compute servers to execute the database operation. These compute servers, in turn, interact with the zone local distributed file system known as Colossus to retrieve, process, and serve the database results. All of this happens within a few milliseconds of latency. As Spanner observes your workload, data is automatically split to ensure the workload can be distributed across the available compute nodes. As your workload and data size grow and shrink, Spanner automatically responds by splitting and merging data such that all available compute capacity can be utilized. The sharding is what allows arbitrary horizontal scalability and allow Spanner to scale to match the data size and required throughput of the given workload. In addition, when additional compute capacity is added, Spanner responds by redistributing data splits across the compute servers. This capability, 
combined with Spanner's architectural separation of compute and storage, allows Spanner to provide real-time elastic resizing in response to workload variations. And with Spanner's fully managed auto-scaling, management of these operations are seamless and natively integrated into the product. Now that we've learned a little bit about Spanner, I'm going to hand off to my colleague Pritam to tell us a little more about Spanner use cases. Thank you, Dave, for walking us through the challenges with traditional databases and Spanner superpowers. Now let's look at some of the examples and use cases where Spanner would shine. So first, let's look at Spanner for NoSQL workloads. So many of the NoSQL database users are tired of sacrificing consistency for scale. They are frustrated with the complexity of managing their distributed database and the complexity they need to build to work around the lack of functionality in these databases. Uh, Spanner delivers a unique solution, combining the scale flexibility of NoSQL without compromising on robust consistency and reliability. So what are some of these examples, right? Like why choose Spanner for NoSQL workloads? So first is planet scale scalability. Uh, Dave talked about it, but effortlessly replicating your data across multiple regions and continent, uh, continents for seamless global access. Um, the second would be performance at scale, right? So you don't need to compromise on performance. So experience high throughput and low latency, even as your data and user base grows exponentially. The third would be you know, schema flexibility. So it allows you to accommodate diverse data models uh, and uh, support evolving requirements. So Spanner schema changes are online, so there is no downtime involved. Last but not the least, it's the global secondary indexes. So Spanner supports up to 10,000 consistent global secondary indexes per database. This allows you to query on any set of columns efficiently, not just your primary keys. We have many, many Dynamo, Cassandra, and other NoSQL workloads running on Spanner. And um, I believe it is a great database to build your modern globally distributed applications with confidence. Um, but what about cost, right? So um, Spanner offers really, really good uh, price performance for NoSQL workloads. So as you can see in this slide, Spanner is up to half the cost of DynamoDB. And uh, in a recent paper published by Accenture, this gap widens when accounting for uh, real workload variations and provisioning. So the second use case that we should talk about is Spanner for uh, relational workloads. So Spanner for relational workload redefines what's possible with traditional RDBMS. Um, it provides a future-proof solution for applications that demand scalability, global reach, and flexibility to adapt to evolving needs. You don't need to settle for the limitations of traditional relational databases. So we talked about um, you know, the traditional limits and Spanner scalability. You don't need to do artificial things like uh, vertical scaling or adding read-only replicas or managing active 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 setup. Uh, Spanner does it all for you. It is completely fully managed, so it eliminates the operational overhead of managing a complex database infrastructure, allowing you to focus on your core business and application. There is no downtime or overhead. And the best part is local. you get local performance with a global reach. So uh, Spanner allows you to uh, have a distributed global database with very, very low latency and high availability. Uh, last but not the least, uh, you get very powerful but familiar access to dialect. So Spanner has a Postgres interface which you can leverage and it will give you the familiarity of Postgres with superpower of Spanners. Uh, with Google SQL dialect, the Google SQL interface, uh, MySQL customers will feel very familiar and you'll get features like true global transactions and strong consistency. So um, you get best of both the worlds, right? Spanner combines the best aspects of relational database and NoSQL systems. Um, the price performance, even for relational database, it, it is really, really uh, good. So what you see here is a comparison of Spanner to a typically managed um, cloud RDBMS using a TPCC relational benchmark. So as you can see, Spanner provides the competitive price performance across a variety of data sizes and VM configurations. 
And unlike your typical relational database, you don't have to worry about scaling limits in any dimensions. The third workload that I want to talk to you about is Spanner for uh, analytics, right? So with Spanner, you have a very powerful operational database and you can combine it with BigQuery's world-class analytics platform. So you can bridge the gap between operational data and analytics and provide amazing end user experiences. So let's talk about a few things, right? The first is zero ETL. So you don't need to build custom pipelines and manage them. You can issue federated queries from BigQuery on your operational data in Spanner. This means unlocking real-time insights, faster decision-making, and a huge reduction in operational overhead. Um, the second one is Data Boost. So Data Boost takes advantage of Google's uh, disaggregated compute and storage architecture. Um, Dave talked about it. Uh, it provides you with on-demand, isolated compute resources to process your analytical queries directly on Spanner data. It directly accesses the storage layer in Spanner and has no impact on your mission-critical transactional workload. Uh, you pay for what you use. Um, with data lake integration, the feature that I am excited about is the external data set support. So this allows BigQuery users to connect to Spanner schema, uh, which allows Spanner tables to be browsed, joined, queried as if they were BigQuery tables. Uh, last but not the least is a reverse ETL. So uh, this will allow you to take those powerful aggregations that you have created in BigQuery and persist them in Spanner. The reason why you may want to do this is because it offers lightning speed uh, uh, access. So Spanner can serve the materialized views with very low latency and with very high concurrency. So imagine delivering personalized, personalized analytical experiences to millions of users in real time. So the fourth use case that I want to talk to you about is leveraging uh, Spanner for AI use cases. So we all know that LLMs hallucinate, but Spanner enables application developers to ground their LLMs in operational data. So with Spanner Predict, imagine running complex machine learning models directly on your live operational data in Spanner. So this means that you can serve real-time predictions, personalized experiences, and intelligent decision-making all from within Spanner. Uh, with the vector search, if you need to find similar items, recommend products, or you want to power semantic search, Spanner's vector search capabilities will allow you to efficiently search through high dimensional vector embeddings, unlocking the power of similarity-based applications directly on your Spanner data. And then with the studio, we really want to democratize access to your operational data. So it empowers even the non-technical users to interact with the data through natural language. You can type a query in English and the studio will translate the English to SQL, which can then be used to query the database. And last but not the least, you can use Spanner to consolidate your AI operations. So instead of having a special purpose database for each of the use cases, Spanner allows you to consolidate and simplify your architecture. So with Spanner AI, your applications can become more intelligent, your data can become more versatile and valuable, and your business becomes more competitive. So the fifth use case I want to talk to you about is simplifying your architecture. So what you see here is a common but simplified view of operational architecture. Applications interact directly with several purpose-built databases, each storing partial and inconsistent view of the world. In order to share the data, as well as to make data accessible for asynchronous processing, you'll have to develop complex ETL pipelines on top of this. Uh, but with Spanner, which is on the right side, all these purpose-built databases can disappear. So with a combination of Spanner and BigQuery, your data can be managed and accessed through a single source of truth uh, across multiple use cases, including efficient, no ETL access for asynchronous processing. To summarize, Spanner gives you the ease of use and the programming model of a single node SQL database while providing you with world-class availability and scale of a distributed system. Uh, it is great for relational as well as non-relational workloads. You can take advantage of the combined power of Spanner and BigQuery together. You can run analytics on your operational data and get fresh insights. With the rich ecosystem integration, 
Spanner AI makes it easy and simple to develop AI powered application that include ve vector search and RAG workflow. Last but not the least, you can consolidate multiple workflows for cost effectiveness and operational simplicity on Spanner. So with multiple modalities supported in database AI and powerful analytics, Spanner is a one-stop shop for your operational needs. Thank you.